So, um, but let's introduce this last guest, and this is a special guest who's making a brief appearance. Stacy, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Hi. Hi. Hello. And now you're actually in New York City, but that's not where you're from, right? No, we are from Texas. We're in New York for Book Expo America. And we would be right. in a like, I think it sounds like everyone is at Book Expo America this week. Oh, yeah, yep. tons of people. Yeah, probably even the capital for all we know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, and mother. Uh, let me just ask uh, Stacy a question about your website. Uh, and you're going to participate with your your two cohorts in a in a later program. But we just really wanted to get you on for a little bit. You guys run some podcasts yourself yourselves about books, and the name of your site is Girls in the Stacks. Is that correct? That that is right. It's a very catchy you, name, you right? Realize, <gasps> you realize that when I was in college, that was like one of my utmost fantasies. <laughs> to get the girls in the <laughs> bag. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm talking about reading books together. We'll get your mind <laughs> So, um, but uh, in the young adult section, of course. No, but uh, maybe you could you could tell us a little bit about this book expo. And how was it? Is it everything it's cracked up to be? Well, actually, the book expo starts tomorrow. But we did a little oh. pre, uh, a little, hasn't started yet, but we did um, go to HarperCollins Publishers today and had a breakfast with them, and that was interesting. We got um, some galleys, and they told us about their new fall releases, and then we went to Random House later in the day and had um, was a little intimate affair with an author and some other book bloggers and other people, and we got to see up close what they do. And then later in the evening, after our feet were already sore, we went to the Teen Author Carnival at uh, the Mulberry Library in New York. Oh, cool. And, um, yeah, I got to see Melinda Lowe, so y'all can all be jealous right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's uh, – you always get such great interviews. I saw you had a, a wonderful pa- uh, podcast with Meg Cabot. Right? Yes, that, that, was, was, that, that was pretty impressive. We were pretty stoked to get that one. Yeah, if I remember, I think you spent the first, and I say this complimenting you, three to four minutes just absolutely gushing. But I, I loved listening to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was Nancy. She, she, I think she was about to cry. Well, I think <laughs> we, we would all cry if we ever got Suzanne Collins somehow anywhere near this podcast. Yeah, Maybe someone we tried to get Suzanne the Collins, and they told us no. <laughs> so... <laughs> So maybe someone who touched a book that touched Suzanne Collins' hands. Uh, oh, well, actually, exactly. I, well, yeah, that applies so, to you and probably an Ariel for sure. Yeah, and yeah. Ariel, you're also going to the book expo, right? Yes, I am. In fact, I'm uh, meeting I Ariel believe. on Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> See, this podcast brings people together, just like <laughs> Isn't that amazing how that, <laughs> how that works. Uh, no, and I'm so glad you guys are going to be able to meet each other. Uh, before we let you go, and, and Stacy, by the way, is going to be on the June 13th episode uh, of our podcast, so you'll definitely won't want to miss that. Uh, but Stacy, just just as a quick quick question, New York versus Texas, what are you thinking right now? <laughs> Hands down, Texas wins every time. But what? Oh, no. Go, <laughs> <So> Texas. Um, <laughs> I, that's I right. Sam actually three. lives in Texas. Oh, they do. That's awesome. Texas is great. But so, so is New York. I asked my husband if we could live here for a season of our lives, like two years, and he turned me down. He said no. So <laughs> well, at least he didn't turn you down in the thing that really matters. So that's that's the good. Oh, thing. exactly. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much for coming on, Stacy, and. Well, uh, we really look forward to having you on the 13th, and we hope you have a, a wonderful time up here in New York, and we appreciate it. Thanks, Adam and Ariel. I'll see you guys later. 